booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, hoisting harmony to the heavens and opening new gateways for international science. A few centuries ago, almost all scientists believed in the biblical account of creation. However, by the time the first astronaut launched into space, many scientists had abandoned this history. Many astronomers had come to believe that our solar system and the planets and moons within it formed all by themselves without a creator about four and a half billion years ago. But what did we find when we arrived in space? Do the planets and moons of our solar system actually support this belief? Or are they consistent with the Bible instead? Here's what the planets would look like if you could line them all up next to the sun. By the way, you are here. Mars is a giant desert today. Sometimes it has dust storms that cover the entire planet. Evolutionists want a long history of global oceans on Mars, but it's physically impossible for liquid water to exist on Mars today. It turns out Neptune is a violent, turbulent place. It has the strongest winds measured anywhere in the solar system. We've measured wind speeds there up to 1,300 miles per hour. According to evolution, Uranus and Neptune don't exist. Or at least computer simulations have never explained how planets as big as the two gas giants could form so far from the sun. The moon is moving away from the Earth at about 3.8 centimeters per year. Calculations show that the moon would have been touching the Earth only one and a half billion years ago. Obviously this is impossible. Obviously the moon can't have been orbiting the Earth for four billion years, as evolutionists claim. Welcome to What You Aren't Being Told About Astronomy, Volume 1, Our Created Solar System. I'm Spike Pissaris, your host. For a number of years, I worked as an engineer in the U.S. military space program. I entered that program as an atheist and an evolutionist. I left it as a creationist and a Christian. In this video, you'll discover some of the evidences that have convinced me, along with many others, that the Bible is true and evolution is not.